You know the great Kirk McCaskill, the Canadian Baseball Hall of Famer, finally decided to uh, give a career in Major League Baseball a chance. In his first uh, few seasons, <coughs> the announcers always were referencing his father. Now, his father was considered the inspiration for the slapster shot character better known as the uh, uh, surgeon Tim McCracken. But Ted McCaskill's uh, road to being an inspiration for the Slapshot movie with Paul Newman has uh, many roads, many tales to tell. We're going to kind of cover a little bit today. And what was kind of weird, ladies and gentlemen, the WHA, when it opened up, it gave him a full chance to make it a major league hockey, uh, hockey because in the NHL, only the stars gave him a chance. You just play a few games. Now, born in Capus Casing, Ontario, a very beautiful community, October 29th, <coughs> 1936, Edward Joel McCaskill, again, played only four games in the NHL, but 91 games in the WHA. He played with the Minnesota North Stars and then served as player coach with LA Sharks. Now, he played his junior hockey with the Kitchener Canucks and later the Capus Casing Huskies, then made the move to of all places UK to play two years in the British Ice Hockey Elite League. Upon returning to the US, he became a dominant force with the Nashville Dixie Flyers and his offensive progress earned the attention of NHL clubs. However, he would spend most of his playing years in the WHL with the Vancouver Canucks and the Phoenix Roadrunners. Now, if you look at raw statistics, when he was coaching the Sharks, he, uh, he was better off to be a player, no disrespect to uh, Mr. McCaskill. Uh, Ted was, uh, uh, at one point, uh, one of the uh, most pro uh, prominent, uh, what do you call, uh, hockey players in the major minor leagues, and I'll tell you why. When he broke in with the Kitchener Canucks, uh, he basically was scoring seven goals a season, but he went over to England, learned how to score. But when he came back, in the seasons he played with the Nashville Dixie Flyers were just tremendous. Nashville was a big, uh, you know, uh, offensive team in the EHL. Between 1963 and 1967, he scored 21, 36, 60, 39, and 53 goals. His best campaign <coughs> was in 65, where he had 125 points, including 60 goals in 72 games. Now, again, he played with the Memphis South Stars of the CPHL as part of his NHL contract with the Minnesota Stars. He had two assists in the 68 season. But again, uh, Minnesota and, and him had a falling out, ended up in the WHL for four years, where he scored 11, 24, 23, and 18 goals between 69 and 72, with never increasing minutes and penalties. Now, 72-73 season as a player coach, he helped uh, the Sharks get to the playoffs. He had a you know a decent uh, decent record. Uh, I think it was 29 and 30 or something like that. Let me double check here. Uh, 20 and 39. Excuse me. He uh, he uh, uh, got them uh, 50 59 points. That was the 72 uh, excuse me 73 74 season. The previous season with the Sharks, he got into, got them in the playoffs. Sorry for the confusion here. That 74 season, he only had two goals in 18 games. But in 1975, he went back to the main minor leagues with the Broome County Dusters of the NHL, 34 points in 40 games and 13 points in 15 playoff contests. Now, this this whole situation uh, that that some websites have talked about McCaskill, depending on who you're talking to. Uh, some people say it's a direct inspiration for the, uh, the Slapshot character that was portrayed, not by him, but by somebody else. But it was, it was an expansion because he looked like the, the type of player he wanted to talk about. Now, it was weird about Nashville as well. The, the league down there was very tough and only the stronger survived it. And when something did happen, you shouldn't feel too sorry for yourself. Because the teams only only iced 14 players, one goalie, four defenders, and nine forward forwards. They could not afford to finish games <coughs> with players in firmly. Now, to survive, according to published reports, McGaskill quickly learned that his stick wasn't just for wielding the puck. He quickly became a weapon in his hands, thus becoming an important facet of his game. He made it especially, and in addition to fighting profusely, to become one of the most feared players in the league. Now, 
uh, the WHA again gave him, gave him his uh, double chance. But you look some of the photos, he looked pretty tough. When he ended up again with the NHL uh, Binghamton Dusters, he continued to use his staff in all sorts of ways, not uh, not very kind. Now, uh, the writer of Slapshot, Nancy Dowd, who scripted the movie uh, while watching the NHL, he came up with the idea of the character of, uh, character of Surgeon Tim McCracken, based on him, which uh, kind of took shape as one of the main uh, villains in the piece. However, it's not McCaskill who plays him in the film, although he's still lucky to have a small role in it. He's the Broome County Blades player who gets sandwiched by Jeff and Steve Hansen in the key point in the show. Now, uh, again, the the Kirk McCaskill uh, situation because Ted was moving from place to place. Uh, Kirk tried his hand at hockey and he was quite good, but he was a two point sports star and he figured he would have more chance in Major, major League Baseball. What's uh, strange about Kirk as well, he had played in the minor uh, minor leagues for uh, for a short while. Uh, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, he played with the Sherbrooke uh, uh, Sherbrooke Jets which was a very respected uh, team in the EHL at the time. So uh, it's, uh, it's uh, 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 I want you to just listen to some of these uh, information about Kirk, uh, Kirk McCaskill. It's quite interesting as well. Now, again, he, uh, he, uh, as a child, McCaskill moved several times during his father's pro career, spending time again in Nashville, Memphis, Vancouver, Phoenix, Newport Beach, and Huntington Beach. Now, when McCaskill uh, Sr. retired from Rocky 75, his family settled in Paradise Valley, Arizona. <coughs> now, he attended Edison High School in Huntington Beach, and he was eventually accepted at the Trinity Pauling School in Pauling, New York. Now, he moved to the boarding school mainly to pursue his hockey career, but continued to play baseball while there. During senior year, McCaskill has a pitcher on an 8 record with .970 ERA and 97 strikeouts. He eventually turned down a baseball scholarship to Arizona State so that he could pursue both hockey and baseball at the University of Vermont. Now, in 1980, he played collegiate summer baseball in the Cape Cod Basketball uh, Baseball League for the Yarmouth Des Dennis uh, Red Sox. Now, at Vermont, he played center and right wing for, for that university from 1979 to 83, and the 82 was a finalist for the Hobie Baker Award, and was named to that season's NCAA East All-American First Team and ECAC All-Star First Team. He was team captain during the 83 campaign and won the Cunningham Award as the most valuable player on the catamounts. Now, McCaskill was drafted in the fourth round by the Jets in the 81 inch on entry draft, playing one season of pro hockey with the Sherbrooke Jets, a Jets farm team, and dressed for one game with the Winnipeg Jets of the NHL, but did not play in the game. During the 84 season, he scored 10 goals and had 12 assists for 22 points. Now, he eventually retired from pro hockey after that one season to focus solely on his pro baseball career. And for his achievements in both hockey and baseball, he was inducted into Vermont uh, Sports Hall of Fame in 2015. Now, uh, McCaskill is a dual citizen, but my God, what a, what a pitcher he was. Uh, you know, almost a, almost a perfect... Uh, you know, starter with a little bit of relief expertise. Uh, final uh, career record, 106 went away for 1,003 strikeouts. <coughs> so both senior and junior, great talent, but uh, if one comes up, he said, oh, that's the guy from Slapshot, and another guy said, well, that's the guy from the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame, so it's, it's quite impressive. So that's the story about the McCaskill senior and the junior. We thank you for listening. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, subscribe. Sorry about the little uh, cough or I'm sorry for a little bit of a sinus situation with a change of temperatures in New Brunswick. It's not you, it's me. And uh, again, I don't get this North Shore voice out of nowhere. When you got the, from the North Shore, you got the sinus. You live by a smelter for 30 years, that's what happened. Thanks for listening. Bye.